Morning, everybody. Uncle Matt here, out for a run around beautiful Crescent Lake at the Walt Disney World Boardwalk. No better way to start the day. I needed this. Whew. Today's first stop, Animal Kingdom. Whoa, look at those birds go. What was that? It's a bunch of parrots or something. Macaws. Were they macaws? I don't think so. I think they're parrots. Where'd they go? I don't know. They just flew over that way. That's a surprise to start the day. For our first ride of the day, we are having a relaxing ride down the Navi River. Look at the animals. Like their shadows. Yeah. You surely can. They paid a licensing deal to use it in big parts. Similar to how Indiana Jones used to not be a Disney property and Star Wars used to not be a Disney property. Like a collective. Like Infinity Stones. Alright, since we were in Pandora, we had to stop in and get some delicious food. It's a Thule Canteen. Jessica, show your burger pod. And then take a big old bite out of it. No, look, you got a tangerine. Everybody's been <laughs> everybody's been saying in the comments that they want to see you bite into the burger. Okay, we'll wait into the comments and see what they say. I gotta get myself this time. Here we go. All right, since since Jessica won't eat, I will. It's a little burger box. Oh, an apple teas. Oh, good. Yeah, I had a scum. Half a scum. This is good. Perhaps you like any. Pot. Yeah, mine was better. Confirmed. All right, quick thoughts so far in Emerald Kingdom. Navi River was better than I remembered it, but I think it's also because I waited a lot less than I did the first time I rode it. Still probably too short. It's a Tuli Canteen might be the best thing about all of Animal Kingdom. What? It's either that or Everest. I can't decide. Are we going on Everest? Eventually, but I was just saying I think Satuli Camp Team might be the best thing in all of Animal Kingdom. It's really good. It's between that and Everest. Seriously? No, now I just I mean, honestly, awful. the best thing in any Disney park is when you were... Here. Lion for safaris is winding through the backstage areas. It almost makes me feel like we're already at Halloween Horror Nights. This is how the lines usually go there, is they usually kind of weave through some stuff behind the rides and stuff. The illusion has been broken. Perplexed by that animal because I thought its horns were growing out of its nose. If you look at the inscription though, you can see it's looking at its hooves. So those horns are indeed growing out of the top of its head and not its nose. It's amazing what you can see. Brown animals with the black and white striped legs are Okapi, and they're related to a giraffe with the long neck, skull, and even tongue of a giraffe. Yes, the Okapi can lick their own eyeball. The dark reddish brown animal, that's a bongo over there. It can blend in so well, the natives refer to it as the ghost of the forest. These light tan antelope, these are the greater kudu, second tallest antelope we'll find on the reserve, and, well, both of these are, are ladies. You see, among kudu, only the boys have horns. Oh, here's a third one. We'll keep mosey and see what else we can find. Now that's a black rhino. It'll weigh about 3,000 pounds. Sadly though, there's less than 5,000 left in the wild. And that's because poachers are killing them off just for their horns. Yes, yeah, some cultures still believe rhino horn to be medicinal and can cure everything from a headache to cancer. We can stay underwater for five to seven minutes at a time. To mark their territory, it's rather simple. All they do is back up to something, flap their tail, and poof. Hey. <laughs> he said. Oh yeah, it goes everywhere. Jessica. What? Did you hear the guy say poop? Yes, I hit both. Hold on, my toes my toes zoomed in. I can't get it out. Zoom out. Zoom out. Zoom out. Zoom out. He said poop. Did you hear him? Um. They can get to be 20 feet long. And they have enough pressure in their jaw alone to crush the bones of anything that gets in their mouth. Yikes. A group of giraffes? Why, that would be known as a tower. 
We got I want to hear more about the poop. Ahead of us. Or, I guess, zebra. Tell us more about the poop. Dazzle. With a D. Chester, do you have any poop information for us? <laughs> or zebra. All these big piles of dirt you're seeing. These are turf. Run, move Look at the spots on the way. Giraffes. They're a little bit jagged or lacy, a great indicator of a Maasai giraffe. <laughs> Wildebeest, also known as the new, spelled G-N-U because of the way they sound when they vocalize. <laughs> that was a good oh, one. Look at him, he's really close. I've always been a big fan of watching giraffe eat. If you're lucky enough and close enough, you'll see them swallow. And when they do, you can watch the big glob of food they were chewing travel oh all the way oh down their neck. Yeah. Oh, you think that's disgusting, but wait, there's more. <laughs> A few seconds later, you'll watch that big glob of food travel all the way back up oh their neck and they'll chew it again. Oh yeah, giraffes get so many nutrients out of what they eat. What comes out the other end kind of looks like milk duds. <laughs> Mm -hmm. God, there's lots of them. Interestingly enough, that giraffe and each one of you have the same number of bones in their neck. Yep, their vertebrae just happens to be a wee bit taller, though. A longer tail? Or no tail? I can never remember. Cheetahs are the fastest land animals known to man, and they can run up to about 60 miles an hour, but only for a short time, about the length of a football field. Then they're plain tuckered out, and all they can do is lay over their prey. Yeah, the sad thing is other animals know this, and they come around and push the cheetah off their prey. They'll spend 18 to 20 hours of the day doing, well, absolutely. Ostrich eggs. Go get one, Jess. I need an omelet. Rude. These were white rhinos, weighing in at around 5,000 pounds. They can charge something at around 35 miles an hour. Oof. Don't come over here. A group of rhinos Look like this, here. it's known as a crash. Sounds about right. They can't even see us, but they can hear us, as their hearing is incredible. They can even rotate each ear. Uh-oh, he's eyeballing us. He's looking dead. Uh-oh. We gotta get out of here. Okay. Bye, Mr. Rhino. Oh, no. When we get by them, we'll go head on down to the warden shack. There's a rumor they're raising Nigerian dwarf goats out here on the edge of the village. This has been a pretty good ride on the safari. As we pull in, one last bit of Swahili for you. That'll be quiet here. Our driver's got a bit of Jungle Cruise in. Folks, it's been a pleasure to take you out on safari. Keeping us entertained with the jokes. Enjoy the short time we spend together. Have a great afternoon wherever your travels take you. All right, so I mentioned our driver on the safari had the jokes. He was doing a little bit of Jungle Cruise shtick. Best joke of the whole ride was, everybody knows cats have nine lives. What animal has more? The answer is frogs because they croak every night. Waka, waka, waka. There goes the monkey. Just swinging around up there. There goes Kite Tails. There goes Simba crashing into the stands. The epic conclusion to the show where the kites just crash into the fans. Classic. Next up, Expedition Everest. We're going to see these Yetis. Jesta is going. I can't promise that the Yeti won't eat Jesta. I can't make that promise. I'll try to protect you, but... You're not a good protector. She might be on her own. You ready? Yeah. This is a good one. Oh. Oh. First little turn. Oh. Big hill. Oh, that is in my face! Shady really 
Toby doesn't break the track. We need to go there. Don't you do it. No! Oh no. The Yeti. He broke it. We're screwed now. We are screwed now. I did not like going backwards. Well, the track's broken out, so I guess we're just gonna go straight. to get us when we got out. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> Woo! This close. I thought he was going to get us that time. <laughs> the strobe lights really make it look like he's actually moving. Oh. I think everybody's dull with. We're going to come up there. Everybody just ate. Not me. Not Here we have the sad remains of Primeval World as it's slowly stripped down and destroyed. R.I.P. in peace, my friend. Goodbye, old friend. They slowly destroy you. You saw the dinosaur? I did. So I saw this thing. Is it the dinosaur? It's about dinosaurs. Um, I saw this thing and it really, like I don't know if it terrified me or made me laugh. Like basically saying that the T-Rex arms have always been like this weird, like they didn't really understand why he had such little arms. But then they said T-Rex arms look like chicken arms. So Maybe the arms didn't go forward like you think they did. Maybe they went back and they actually had giant chicken wings. Could be. Because they did evolve into chickens. So imagine, but... Doctor, uh... Is that terrible? Ah, oh, fuck, just landed in my face. That's disgusting. Um, Doctor, uh... So what is... Doctor Ian Malcolm said they came from birds. Doctor so that makes sense. Ian Malcolm did not say that. And then, he was a and then Alan Grant said, you know what? Life finds a way. We're traveling through time war. Here we go. Okay, now let's go get that dino. Computer, what are you tracking? Cynacosaurus. Not our dino. <laughs> ride turns us into that. That's what it's going to turn us into. Soon, you're going to have a chance to undertake an amazing Navi Rite of Passage. Riding on the back of a Banshee by being genetically matched and linked to an avatar. Using avatars to fly this way was all figured out by my boss, Dr. Jackie Ogden. She Let's make sure we're seated all the way forward with our chest against the chest right and our feet on the floor as far forward as possible. I have those restraints coming up now. Restraints active. 
Welcome back. Please step off the link chair, gather your belongings, and exit the link chamber. Alright, we just got off Flight of Passage. I enjoyed it much more than I did the last time I rode it. I think it was the last time I rode it, I waited like three hours for it. And it was late at night and I was agitated. This time, 48 minutes and I was in a little bit better mood, so I had a better time on the ride. But it is still just sore and except slightly enhanced. Just to your thoughts. It was really fun, I really liked it. Good. Um, it hurt my back though. This is one kind of thing, it kind of crept you in there and you're like, oh! Walk into the seat like that. It does appear we chose to ride that at the correct time because it looks as though it absolutely Monsoon. poured out here. The ground is soaked. I like the people walking around don't look wet. I haven't seen anybody that looks like they got caught in the storm, so I don't know. Everybody probably got anything from somewhere. Yeah, there's enough places to come in. Probably. Good call. All right, so our time at Animal Kingdom has come to an end for today. We are heading back to the boardwalk, but the party's not over. We're going to go home. We're going to get refreshed, cleaned up a little bit. And then we're heading over to Universal Studios for Halloween Horror Nights. But you're going to have to wait to see that vlog because we're going to cut this one off here. So Jessica, tell them what they have to do if they want to see the Halloween Horror Nights video. Like your channel? You're as bad as Nephew P. Say it in every video. He never remembers. And then I'm going to miss say the word. No, I'm going to take my time. Subscribe to the channel. Turn the bell on for notifications, and you will be alerted when the Halloween Horror Nights video goes live. Now tell them again in your own words. <sighs> Got an escapee on the loose here at Animal Kingdom. Gosh, he could ride anything now, but the Looks like he's heading back in, though. He must have found out he missed food time.